Hello everyone, thank you for checking out my channel and welcome to another tech series. <laughs> Hello everyone, in this video you're gonna learn how to create citation and bibliography okay so let's say this is our research paper or the document that we want to work with now to insert citation we have to go first to the references tab so click natin yung references tab and makikita natin dito yung insert citation but before that we have to place our insertion point po before the end of the paragraph or the part in the document na lalagyan natin ng citation. Okay po? So, before the period or the end of the paragraph, let's place our insertion point. Okay? Now, as you can see here in the references tab, we have put uh, style. So, under the style, we have put uh, different style. So, the most common styles po are APA style and MLA style. Okay? So, ano yung pinagkaiba ng dalawa? An APA text citation. This includes po the author's last name and the publication year. And if you're quoting or paraphrasing a specific passage, you also add a page number. While the MLA uh, citation naman includes the author's last name and a page number. Okay? So, yung pinagkaiba. So, in this video, let's use po the MLA form. Po. So, after we uh, place the insertion point before the end of the paragraph, let's click now the insert citation. To insert citation po, dito sa paragraph natin. Okay? So, add new source kung wala pang existing source. Click add new source. Then, what type of source ang pinagkuhanan mo ng paragraph na to or a phrase. Okay? So either a book, book section, journal article, and so on. Let's say it is a book. Now, we have to input sino ba yung author natin. For example, ang author natin ay si Alison Druin. So, we have to enter po Alison Druin. Okay? And, pwede natin i-edit yung name natin. Okay? So, try natin. Uh, when we click the edit button, we have to provide po the last name, which is Druin. And, yung first name niya is Alison wala siyang middle name. Okay? Click OK. Now, uh, what is the title of the book? Kung saan mo pinagkuhanan yung source mo? So, let's say the title of the book is that Designing Multimedia Environments for Children. So, we have to input mano yung book na ginamit natin or kung saan natin nakita yung phrase na yun. So, let's say Designing Multimedia Um, environments for children. Or, of course, kung iba din naman yung gusto nyong gawin or ilagay dyan, iba din naman yung source nyo. Yun yung ilagay nyo dito. Okay? So, uh, what year na-publish yung book na yun? Let's say, it was published 90, in 1996. And, uh, anong lugar? Or city? Random lang. Let's say, ito. And, ano yung publisher? Top publisher is uh, Billy and Sons. For example, Medium Book. Okay, so ito na yung laman ng citation natin. So when we are done po um, providing the details of our citation, uh, we have to click OK. And makikita mo dito, before the end of the paragraph, eh, andito na yung linagay natin citation. Okay po? So, if we want to edit po the citation, like, ayaw ko ng ganitong format, meron pa ba akong option para gawin or bagawin yung format nito? Of course, meron. So, all you have to do is to right-click po inside, then to edit citation. Okay? So, click edit citation. So, if you, if you want to add pages, kung saan particular na page mo nahanap yung phrase na yun, ilagay mo lang siya dito. Or, mabawa, 196 to 197. 
Okay? So, if you want to add the year as well. So, click OK. Now, makikita mo dito, um, yung citation mo, which is si Drew Allison, and nakita mo yung phrase na 196 to 197. So, that's how you add po citation. Okay? Ano ba ba? Meron pa dito. Add tayo dito sa kabila. So, next paragraph. Okay? So, again, place the insertion point before the end of the paragraph or the phrase ng gusto mong isight. Then, go to references tab. Insert, uh, insert citation. Then, makikita mo dito, meron na tayong existing um, author or source. Okay? So, pwede natin gamitin ito kung same lang naman yung pinagkuhanan natin or yung source natin. But in this case, para mas madami tayong makita under the bibliography later on, I will show you. Uh, let's add a new source. Okay? So, still, book. Author, iba naman yung author natin. Let's say, um, si Frank. Okay. For free. Frank. Okay. Uh, just a few tips po. Ano. Uh, kung gusto mo pong mag-move from different fields or sa forms, you... Um, you can use po the tab key to move from tab to tab, okay, without even using your mouse. So, click lang natin yung tab and shift tab para bumalik sa previous tab. Tab to move on to another tab and shift tab to move on the previous tab, okay. So, click lang natin yan and okay. Now, ano naman yung title? For example, um, the complete complete idiot guide. For example, lang naman. So, it was published uh, sabi natin 1998 CP of GASP. Publisher um, Rivals Publishing. Ano naman, Rivals Publishing. And so on. So, click OK. And there you have it. We have now um, another source. So, pwede natin na modify again. Edit citation. And from pages 8 to 9. 80 to 85. So, click OK. And that's it. Meron na tayong citation. So, we already inserted citation and modify our citation. Now, ito yung part na akala natin kapag gumagawa tayo ng research paper. Yung part na akala natin mahirap, di ba? Gumawa ng bibliography. And madami. Minsan, mapapansin mo yung mga marurunong na mga kagroupmate mo sa thesis. Inaako nila yung bibliography na part ng thesis ninyo. Ako na. Ako na ng bibliography. So, akala natin mahirap. Especially kapag hindi natin alam kung paano gumawa ng bibliography uh, automatically or with an ease. But, huwag kayong papayag kasi napakadali lang naman gumawa ng bibliography. For example, uh, go tayo sa next page. We can um, break the page or move to another page with the use of page break. Okay? So, click natin yung page break dito sa insert tab. Page break to move to another page. Okay? Now, for example, uh, these are the citations citations. Okay? So, igit na ako lang siya. Now, um, para po maglagay, or in order for us to add bibliography on our paper, all we have to do is go to the re uh, references tab, then click bibliography. And automatically po, pili tayo kung ano yung style na gusto natin. Let's say itong first, bibliography. So, ayun. Automatic po, identified natin and formatted na kung paano po ba yung MLA format na bibliography and even the references. Okay? So, hindi na siya type Hindi niya na tinignan yung mga nandun ng resources sa taas. But automatically, with just a various click, meron na tayong bibliography. So, napakadali lang. Po. Of course, you can also modify po yung content natin dito sa bibliography. Okay? So, paano? Uh, select lang natin to, go to home tab, then proceed tayo sa paragraph. Okay, uh, click natin, ano pa gusto ko pa ng double spacing or 1.5 line, uh, sp line spacing. So, pwede natin yan i-edit dyan, uh, update dyan, or i-modify. So, click OK, and that's it. 
Hi po. So, ito. Um, ito lang yung gusto kong sabihin sa inyo. And bigyan natin ng pansin, ano? So, every time na meron tayong binago from our sources, for example, yung mga citation natin dito. Let's say, meron tayong update na ginawa. And please po, um, nakikita nyo tong update citation ng bibliography. So, whenever you update something doon sa citation natin, always click po yung button na to, update citations and bibliography para kung makuha natin yung update na ginawa natin on the previous page. Okay? So, wag yung kalilimutan. So, yun lang naman. I hope you learn how to create citations and bibliography in an easiest way. Okay? Thank you so much. Till the next text series. Bye!